all. And so I'm, I'm constantly striving to upset people. As a, teach, a pedagogic technique, by the way. That is, yeah. that is pedagogy. It's stimulating. No, it's, dy it's called dynamic. Dynamic teaching. Maybe one of the greatest artistic and literary wills of all time. Uh, this is not the most of the writers I'm speaking about are extremely difficult. It's by like James Joyce, who incidentally is having a premiere tonight. I'm surprised that so many of you are avoiding it. <laughs> The portrait of the artist is having a premiere tonight at the local the theater, movie theaters. But um, Joyce is fitting into Wake. It's one of the great uh, world performances using all of the languages of the world simultaneously. The Chinese ideogram is a wonderful instrument of unified sensations. It is so richly unified that uh, most uh, people in our 20th century have begun to study it very carefully as a, a corrective to our highly specialized alphabet. Using all of the languages of the world simultaneously. And uh, it, uh, we live in a, such a great age. The Elizabethans lived in a chaotic, crazy world. The 5th century Athenians lived in a mad, this decaying and collapsing society which led quickly to Greek tragedy, which is an account of their own misery. Uh, but uh, the alphabet, the alphabet destroyed Greek society in a hundred years. It was gone. The alphabet is a very destructive, fragmenting force, which the Greeks certainly did not survive. The Romans took them over in time to save something. Okay, but uh, the effect of the alphabet on the Greeks was violent. And uh, they gave us great institutions resulting from that misery that they went through. But they became so intensely individualistic and competitive that they destroyed themselves very quickly. To a, a law-abiding duty of the citizen. They have sugar the in the Civil War among the media. That's right. They have... They How about the Washington Post? Wasn't it also a civil war among the media? Yeah. Yeah. It was really a, a mostly... No, but listen, listen to this. Civil war in the media is a, a, a big section here that I, no, I didn't develop. Way at the back. Things happening many levels at once, as in a myth. The word, word, I think I've mentioned once, uh, is mythos in Greek. Word is myth. In an information age, a whole culture becomes word. Therapy of the word is a, concerns the work of the witch doctors and the shamans who did the spell, cast the spells and so on, help people to get well. And the, the spells were cast in various art forms, lyric, epic, dramatic, odes, and so on, were all part of the shaman's equipment. Uh, the genre of what we call the genre of literature began in the spells cast by witch doctors and the shamans. upper class mimic with voice they mimic the world of printing this puts the lower classes way down because they still retain many of the characteristics of pre-print in their voices so the class structure in England is quite simple so the class structure in England is quite simply simulating print with the voice tell dear Mrs. Equitone I bring the horoscope myself one must be so careful these days now Equitone knows is the yeah. name of speaking in prose. Tell dear Mrs. Equitone, I bring the horoscope myself. One must be so careful these days. You see, you talk as if you were a printed page. Equitone, yeah. Yes. Equitone. The alphabet drives people toward extreme forms of egomania and competitiveness. But that is only by people who take it seriously. <laughs> serious about letters or about alphabetic. I'm glad I got to hear it. It was on Spinoza. And 
and the uh, multi-level exodus. The child of the future is a rather terrifying thought. It makes even science fiction look rather tame.